Bluey's are forever. Hello, I'm Melissa. I'm a part-time eBayer and very part-time YouTuber. Figured I'd make a quick update video and a FabFitFun unboxing. I haven't filmed in a while. I'm sorry. Things here, I'm exhausted. <laughs> Just literally exhausted. It could be worse. It could be worse. I got two FabFitFun boxes. We also got some fan mail, some mail from subscribers. There's a giant box, like a giant box. I'm gonna open that at some other time because we just picked it up. I just picked it up um, from the post office. But I do have another piece of fan mail and some envelopes. Okay, Fab Fit Friends, summer, summer box. I have no idea what I ordered in these boxes. We'll do the unboxing, at least one, and then chit chat. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, it looks like recycled. Oh, this is adorable. <laughs> like the best part of the box here. We'll save that. A little craft paper with polka dots. They do have some of these. I, I'm sure somebody would save those. I'm not saving them. Let's see. Summer box. Way Detox Shampoo. I am very excited about that. I think we were able to customize the entire box. I'm an annual member, so the entire box, which is fantastic. First time ever that Fit Fun allowed that. I, shampoo, good. Do you want to send me Windex? I'm here for it. This was a sample, so it was just a free thing. And actually, uh, Bear had trouble getting liquids in a while back. Also, I dehydrated myself, but because I couldn't keep anything down, so this wouldn't work. Hydration multiplier. Good. I'll keep this on hand. I think we have some um, of a different brand. I'm pretty sure we have some of those. Maybe I'll send them to my sister. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Maybe I'll donate them somewhere. I don't know. This uh, went together with the shampoo. I won't use these, so I'll just send these to somebody. I have uh, a conditioning brush. I'm sure this feels amazing. I just have too many steps in my routine at this point to be scrubbing my scalp too much. I do have greasy hair though. It's just gonna sit in my shower, let's be honest. We gotta pass that on. But I am excited about the shampoo. Just because it's shampoo. It could have been VO5 shampoo for a dollar. I would have been thrilled. You're going to save me a trip to Amazon? I'm there. I also, I, I ordered all of this, but <laughs> I ordered this. Surprise. Ole Hendrickson. Ole? Ola Hendrickson? Glow Facial. I need to see when my FabFitFun boxes expire because I don't think I'm going to renew them. I'm getting another, I get Allure and they send skincare, but I have heard really good things about this. And I think I ordered two of those. Gold shimmery oil, another thing I won't really use. I don't need to shimmer in my own house. I haven't gone outside for like three days. <laughs> There's no shimmering going on. I did order beach towels though. This was the first category, so like the big item, the hero item, if you will. I could not figure out a hero item to save my life. I finally, we don't need beach towels. I thought maybe I could sell them together. They are cotton. Not my favorite cotton, let's be honest. And honestly, this is probably just gonna come off in the wash eventually. But it feels okay, it feels okay. I'll probably resell those towels. Uh, a face moisturizer, decent brand. Again, for $50 for this entire box, it's a really good value. I just don't think at this point in my life, I need all of this random stuff. I've gotten my skincare down. I'm using a lot of castor oil, which is really cheap. And that seems to be doing pretty well. And then I do some other things, but um, I will save this. I will. I will save this. Let me see what it smells like. Oh yeah, I like that a lot. Also my, yeah, just saves me from having to do it so I don't care that it was just randomly on there. That smells good. 
a ring light for my phone. In theory, I photograph a lot with my phone. Would I need a ring light though? It'd have to be, not exactly sure. Ring light. Again, these were the best out of, like you could have chosen a gajillion different things. That fit fun coupon, can I just put it up on the screen? Whoever gets it, gets it. I'm sure this is gonna sign you up for something. So don't do that unless you wanna sign up. Oh, stickers. Loving the stickers, fun fit fun. Yeah, good box. Out of all of that stuff, I will keep the shampoo. Thrilled with the shampoo. Face moisturizer, done. Love those two, paid for the box. I don't know about the facial. I have masks, I'll have to see what this does. Apply an even layer, massage until it transforms, leave on for 15 minutes, it's a mask. I don't really need another mask in my life, so we'll see. Maybe I'll send, I don't know who I'm gonna send them to. I think the, the towels I'll pair up though. Okay, so that was the first box. I have another one, it might be identical. I don't remember, I don't remember. I will save the little magazine. I love getting magazines and catalogs. Looks like a fun one. I think I've been subscribed to FabFitFun for about six years, so I've got a lot of stuff, and it has helped me learn what I like. But again, at this point, I'm 41. I know what I like, and I don't just need random stuff in my life, thankfully. But I will pass the stuff along. Okay. If you don't know me, you could probably just skip over this part. If you know me and have sent me a message, thank you so much. A few things have happened since our last video. My husband had a finger surgery. He had cut his finger, I think it was before the pandemic. So a year and a half, two years ago, I really don't know. It feels like a long time ago. It might not have been, but he went in for stitches at the time he cut it. And I don't remember being concerned like, oh, should we go to the hospital? I feel like that would have been a decision early on with the pandemic that would have stuck. Like, is it bad enough? We have like sutures, fake sutures here. They're expensive, but we have them here. I feel like that would have stuck in my mind. So I'm guessing it was before the pandemic. So he cut his finger, stitched it up. Everything was going swimmingly for a long time. And then I don't know, a few months ago, it started to look a little iffy. It started to give him a little bit of trouble. He plays guitar and a few other instruments, but specifically guitar. This is how I play guitar. Um, so they put a cortisone shot in it. That helped a little bit, but not really. So he went to a surgeon, needed surgery, scheduled him for surgery, got in. We love our surgeon. They weren't sure of the bacteria. The bacteria takes a little bit to grow, but she suggested a marine, a marine bacteria. Now he cut it on an exhaust fan he was replacing in my bathroom. And it's metal and it's nowhere near the ocean, but we do go swimming a lot. He would not have gone next to the water with stitches in, but it could have easily gotten in there at some other point. After a cortisone shot, we're not exactly sure but it does look to be a marine bacteria. So all that means is it won't spread, he won't lose his finger, it won't most likely cause him septic shock of any kind. However, it's resistant to a lot of antibiotics. So the antibiotics he's on after surgery, they put him on two broad spectrum antibiotics because they didn't know what it was when they went in. He still has stitches in, it's like two weeks later. Um, and then once they realized it was probably a marine bacteria, they put him on a third dose of antibiotics all at once. The antibiotics come with a lot of side effects, including tendon ruptures. It's a weird fluke side effect. It is a black box side effect, so they did have to tell us about it, but they said because of the bacteria and what kind to try to not have a second surgery this was our best bet. So he went on the bacteria. A few days ago, he was having a lot of muscle pain. He's still having a lot of muscle pain, tendon pain. They took him off of the antibiotics as of this morning. 
So he's just limping around and trying to rest as much as possible so he doesn't rupture a tendon. <laughs> and we go back to the surgeon tomorrow. When we went in last week to have the stitches removed, this is just a long, boring story, sorry. When we went in last week to have the stitches removed, they told us we're gonna have to get him into surgery immediately. Like we thought we were going in for a secondary surgery that day me like I have anything to do with this I would have sat in the car I can't even go in it doesn't matter um and picked him up and he's so goofy he says I love you like 400 times after surgery it's so cute he tells everybody I love my wife he tells everybody um so sweet everybody loves him after surgery but so they thought they were gonna have to take him in immediately we got the surgeon second opinion it's a boring story second opinion she said let's let's take this day by day I don't think we need to go in immediately because it won't spread it's fairly isolated but he won't lose his finger so we don't need to go in immediately so we've been playing it day by day it still looks horrific it just looks horrific they did leave the stitches in until tomorrow the stitches will come out regardless if he needs a second surgery or not at this point because the surgeon has been seeing him almost every day um it's more likely that he's going to need a secondary surgery but not guaranteed well we should know tomorrow <laughs> but because the entire surgery took place and then the muscle issues and they were afraid he's going to rupture something he's really had to stay home he's not vacuuming he's not doing too much of anything and he hates that, but what are you gonna do? We don't wanna rupture something. So I've, I went grocery shopping. That's how bad it's been with him. And again, it's not, it hurts. His finger doesn't hurt, his finger's fine, but his muscles are just hurting. His shoulder, his calves, the bottom of his feet are hurting a lot. Just a lot of muscle tendon type issues. Nothing we can do about it though, and they took him off of it. So we'll see tomorrow. So I went grocery shopping. I decided in the middle of this, it's a good idea to get a COVID shot, which it is a good idea, great idea to get the vaccine. I'm glad I still got it, but my arm has been out of commission. So poor bear still has stitches, still completely wrapped, hobbling around. This arm has, even to touch it, it's still really sore and I'm on day four. But no headaches, no nausea, we will take it. So that has been our world for the last two weeks. I did turn my eBay store on with three day handling and I'm really limiting what I sell, but I am still selling here and there, which is good. I think that's it. So many people have been so sweet. I'm like how's their surgery go? It was up and down there for a while. We weren't sure. That second surgery took us by surprise. We weren't expecting him to need a second surgery but we have to do what's best for the finger and ultimately for the bacteria box two fab fit fun box two the stickers are so cute I just put them on like bills or something i don't really know what to do with stickers at this age but they're adorable and i appreciate them okay box two i literally it looks like i ordered two of the same boxes <laughs> towel now i have two shampoo good shampoo scalp massager definitely don't need two of those oh vitamin c serum okay i do use vitamin c so maybe i'll save this I would rather get the Allure, which I'm paying, I think I paid last year and locked in like a $14 a month price. They send a lot of vitamin C, so I've got a good bit. But um, maybe I'll use it. I don't know how quickly I go through it. I'll save it for a little bit. Oh, dry shampoo, good. I will use that. It's the Living Proof, which is a really good brand. I usually use the Brunette Biore. No, something with the B. Batiste, Batiste, I think it is, which I found on clearance at Marshall's for a dollar. Totally worth it. This, I don't know if it's worth $20. I don't really need a $20 shampoo when I'm going nowhere, but eh, I'll use it. Another glow facial. And that's it. 
So you could pick if you wanted eight items and some of the items were cheaper or six or seven items. I chose the six items because of the price point, which was a really good thing. I'd rather have a few fewer, six is still a good bit, um, fewer really good products sometimes than a whole bunch of like dollar store products, which it, they weren't dollar store products, but you get it. Okay. This does not have, it came from Ohio. Do I even know what's in here? Did I open it? This looks like I opened it. I don't think I did. Nope, I totally didn't. It doesn't have an address on it, so we shall see. When did you send this? I think May. Yep, May. Oh good, there's a note. Dear Melissa and Bear, I found these at a yard sale. I thought maybe you could use them. Thank you, Barb. Oh, thank you for putting your address, Barb. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> these are adorable. They're little favor bags. There's a lot of them. 12 of them. With a cow print. Oh, thank you, Barb. <gasps> these are so cute. I will absolutely use those. Thank you. I'm trying to think in my head what tissue paper they're gonna match. I think, um, this color, this turquoisey aqua color, which is like my color, I have tissue paper in that exact color. So I'll probably do that with that. And an aqua or lime green ribbon would be really pretty. Oh, lots of things. Also, I painted my nails. The end. I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm tired. I need to, I don't know what I need to do. Something. I need to do stuff. Somebody do something. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I'll do another video when I can. Bye. Hello. I am sitting in our car. Bear keeps that back there for music -y stuff. Um, Bear is having an infusion, his two infusions for the day. He's been getting infusions twice in the morning, and then we do them at night at home. He has a pick line. Um, we just connect it via IV and hang up the little bag at home. He's been having them for about two weeks. We just got the news yesterday from his surgeon that he does need a second surgery, which I'm counting as a good thing because his finger is not looking the best. It's definitely healed since surgery, but very swollen. I would not show a picture of it and discolored looking. We are 99% sure it is a marine bacteria. We do not yet know the species. It takes about six weeks to find out exactly what species of bacteria is in there, but we do know it will not spread. It should not spread, <laughs> um, which means it shouldn't spread to his blood and give him septic shock or other areas, and he should not lose his finger. So great news there. They thought the infusions would help. He's getting a lot of antibiotics. He's on oral and the infusions, um, like I said, they just put it in a pick line so it could get closer to his chest cavity, but it's not doing the job. So they're gonna go back in, open it up. The stitches came out a few weeks ago, so they just have to make a new incision, go in, scrape out everything they can, and um, flush it out really well. And hopefully this will be the last surgery. I haven't told him there's a small percentage of needing additional surgeries just to make sure the bacteria is completely gone. But the good news is we are closer to that six week point of knowing the species. So we can really dial in the antibiotics. He's getting a lot of antibiotics. His stomach's not been the best, but he's also not experiencing severe nausea or vomiting. So that's fantastic. He hardly ever gets nauseous. I get nauseous at like a drop of a hat. He almost never does. We do have prescription nausea medicine, so it wouldn't be that big of a deal, but of course it's better to not be nauseous. Uh, my mom is down. Today's Wednesday. She came last Wednesday, so she's been here a week. We did go to the beach one day, and she's been hanging out with Bear mostly <laughs> because they go listen to music. Um, they've been to hear music maybe three or four times now, which is really nice. And she just hangs at the house basically. I haven't been really pushing myself as 
I've been doing stuff around the house. Bear's calf is having a lot of tenderness. One of the side effects of the antibiotics he's on is tender ruptures. So he probably just has a small tear in his tendon at this point. So he's being really careful about walking. He's not going for like leisurely walks or working out at this point because of the number of antibiotics. We were supposed to see the doctor today, the infectious disease doctor, but they got things screwed up. So he's just sitting there for infusions and I'm good enough in the car. I told him, don't worry about it, just sit there. I feel good enough. I've got stuff to do. I've got TikToks to watch. And we'll go from here. Probably hang out with my mom today. Um, yeah. And we'll see. We're hoping they get the port out Friday, whatever arm it's in. Um, and then surgery and switch to all, all, I said that like a Long Islander, all an oral antibiotics. And then surgery Tuesday. He's hoping to sing Tuesday night. We'll see how it goes. And he has a piano gig on Thursday, which will probably need canceled. He has been playing the piano a couple times because the way he plays piano, it's just chords, so he doesn't have to bend. Um, hasn't been able to play guitar, but he has been able to sing. So good spirits about all of that. And I'm doing pretty well there for a while when he was on bed rest because we weren't sure if his calf had, we knew it hadn't ruptured because it wasn't swollen and red to the touch and he wasn't getting fevers. He got a little bit of a fever there for a little bit, but not a huge deal. Um, I was taking care of the groceries and everything and that was hard because of the disease I have. So he's back to at least doing groceries and keeping up with the house a little bit. Our house doesn't get that messy. So he is moving around, which is really good because when he wasn't feeling well, of course I wanted to be by him and then I wasn't feeling well. It's just a whole So we are doing well, pretty well. I do have my store closed. It accidentally opened for like a day before I caught it. So I sold like 25 things. Everything shipped, thankfully. And I think we're good. That's the end of that news. We hope your day is blooming with joy.